How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to The Best Players, a series where we rank every single player we use from the last episode, which was episode one, till the end of the game, to give you kind of uh, the feeling of who is the best on the game, who's the cheapest best player on the game, who's the best midfielder, the strikers, as you can see on your screen, Ronaldo and Ben Yedda from episode one, where we only used one team. This is a team that we did use. We had Hullet, Ronaldinho, Pogba, Paulino, Ronaldo, Ben Yedda, Valencia, Alba, Van Dijk, Koscielny, and uh, yeah, Ben Forster. So today, what we're going to do is feature two players in inform Gabriel Jesus, the 91 rated second inform Sergio Aguero. And we're going to go through every single player I've used since the last episode and rank them in the system, which you'll see right at the end of the episode. So lads, if it's not too confusing or anything like that, and you do understand the series, follow along. Suggest me players in the comments section below for me to use through the week and rank. And maybe even feature in an episode like this. Like I did say, we feature two players. We go through gameplay, we go through their goals, assists, and everything uh, that they provide in game. And uh, yeah, you'll see that in game starts very, very slowly. So, lads, if you do enjoy, smash your like on this video. It takes a lot of time, a lot of graphic work, and a lot of work in general, especially from a graphics guy, Daily Render. Massive shout out to him. So, if you do enjoy, smash a like. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to gateway.com, use that code M89. Every single link that you'll need is right there in the description below. As you see, the stats of Gabriel Jesus, they're amazing. For first in form on this game, an 84 rating, they are outstanding. And from the 91 acceleration, the 86 sprint speed, to the 95 agility and 94 balance, outstanding stats. The only kind of downside is possibly his long shots, which doesn't seem to matter, and the strength and aggression, where our Sergio Aguero, he looks good in every single area of his game. Acceleration, 92, sprint speed, 85, agility, 87. Now, oh, wow, that is amazing. Balance in 93, reactions, 91, ball control, 91, dribble, 91, composure, 92. Great in-game stats, of course. He comes with four-star, four-star. Same as Gabriel Jesus. So, can have one on the left, one on the right. It doesn't matter. We've got this Man City partnership. I've got to say, in real life, Manchester City, uh, my club, Newcastle United, uh, they parked the bus against Man City the other day. It didn't even work. Having 11 players behind the board all times, it doesn't work. Man City are a machine this year under Pep Guardiola. They are a different kind of breed of animal. Now he's got his own players in. So... Uh, as you can see in the background, and all these players will get ranked at the end of the episode, we have a different kind of squad, because I've got a few more icons in there. We've got Rio Ferdinand, we've got Frank Rijkaard. I want to try Rijkaard out, and I've got to say, I'll give you kind of a sneak peek at the end ratings. Rijkaard is better than Ferdinand by a bloody mile. We have Buffon in there, it's Valencia. We have the left back in Alexandro. We have, uh, yeah, we've got Paul Pogba, Vieira, Prime Icon, the lone version. Prime Icon, Rui Costa, Prime Icon. I, I can What the hell's an I can Icon. Dennis Bloody Bird Camp. And we have our two featured players, which, um, yeah, without any further ado, uh, let's have a look at the gameplay. So here we go. And as I mentioned, all these games are in the Foot Champions. As you can see under the right hand side, the game type Foot Champions. Game number one is against this team. We've got Alessandrini, Ben Yedda, Thierry Henry. But we turned up and we won a game. Now, I started this uh, this weekend very, very well. I went 10 and 1. Since then, I've collapsed massively. So, um, yeah, I tried different players in different formations, different formations with different players, and all that kind of stuff. And in game one, Gabriel Jesus, he did zero. Nada, zilch. He did nothing. A great ball there by Bergkamp, and a great finish by Sergio Aguero. The 91 in game one did get one assist. This is the assist, even though technically it is an assist, but that's a great goal by Bergkamp nonetheless, and he did get a goal. That you would have seen just a little bit earlier. Game number two, however, it was more balanced, even though Gabriel Jesus didn't get a goal. Yet again, I'm giving you spoilers. He's got Davies at strike. He subbed him out straight away. Obviously, he's there for the strong link to Young Min Son. I don't know why he could have went like Dembele and put Son and uh, Bale at strike or something like that. But uh, we take the lead, and it's a cracker from Sergio Aguero. That's what he's got in his luck. He's got this amazing ability to be able to score from anywhere on the field. I'm not saying uh, the halfway line in your own area, the bloody corner flag, your own corner flag. I'm not saying stuff like that. I'm saying in and around the area, this guy's going to get you goals. He's, he's a machine in terms of goal scoring, whereas um, Gabriel Zeus is the same, but Gabriel Zeus is more of a, and a kind of an assister on this game. He creates chances. That's a great play patient play from myself and Gabriel Jesus and Bergkamp does get the goal to get Jesus an assist and in this game Jesus he got a hat-trick a hat-trick of an assist this is another assist to Sergio Aguero who is now on three goals after two games that one very fortunate that went down in his name actually it was going into the net but it did deflect off uh, Valencia and I would have been pissed if that had gone in he was pissed he rage quit game number three on we go he's got money at Thiago Silva who I did use in the week 
I didn't like him, lads. I used him in Marquinhos. They're not even making our top 10. They're not even making our top 10. And Sergio Aguero flicks it up. Very lucky yet again. Comes to Jesus and Jesus scores the goal. That doesn't go down as assist, by the way. But Jesus does get the goal. In this game, he, he kind of brought him to life. He scored four goals in total now. Where it has uh, Aguero's got four assists and three goals. They are very, very balanced in terms of the stats in that area. Because in this game, they went some. The partnership kind of clicked into place. Whereas Aguero brings your goals, this kind of brute pace and stuff like that. There's a more flavorful side this Gabriel Jesus. Maybe the Brazilian flair opposed to the Argentinian flair that Aguero brings. But he's just um, he's just this um, flavorful player in and around the areas, Gabriel Jesus, as he celebrates with the camera. That was a great finish, by the way. Low driven across the keeper. A lot of goals on this game are low driven, but from that angle, I normally miss those chances. So, for Gabriel Jesus to score that goal and use the pace to get away from the fullback in that situation, I could have cut it back to Bergkamp, who was around the penalty spot, as you would see on your screen, but I went for the low driven, and the low driven did come off as Aguero turns his man. Lovely ball to Jesus, and Jesus gets another goal. It's 3 1 on the scoreline, and he runs off celebrating yet again. It's, um, it's an amazing game, as Jesus. Is set free by Aguero, hence why he did get another assist. And this is late on in the game. Well, not really late on, but he submitted all these players forward for the corner. I do score the goal, and I'm pretty sure they did rage quit coming from that replay. So he does rage quit, and we get into game number four. So straight away, he's got his a striker. Now, he doesn't have an inform or anything like that. So I was kind of expecting him to do well, like blow my Gabriel Jesus out the water. That wasn't the case yet again. We did uh, kind of run riots. We did do well. Sergio Aguero, yet again, like I did say, he can score from anywhere. He's got a great long shot on him, a great finishing on him. He's just got this ability to score goals, and that's what you want from strikers at the end of the day. Yes, you can have the four-star, four-star, all this fancy shite here and there, like Aguero does have, and uh, Gabriel Jesus does have. But at the end of the day, you want him to put the ball in the back of the net, given any opportunity that he does get. Sergio Aguero offers that in abundance. Don't know why he's wearing the number 13, though, as he goes on through yet again. Look at this stop. Nice stop from him. On his right foot, his favourite right foot, and he puts it in the bottom corner. I, I know it's from the angle there. I couldn't really score on his left peg, and I did kind of stop the ball because I knew it wouldn't have went in otherwise. So he does celebrate, and we go into our final game against the Pro Killer 93, who is kind of a top 100 player. He's got a great team, by the way. In Martial's centre mid, I don't know why he's in centre mid, I do believe he gets 7k. This is a very tough game. As you join me, I'm 2 0 down in this game. A lovely ball by Jesus and a lovely volley by Bergkamp. And Jesus taps it in after it does hit the post. And uh, yeah, we're 3 1 down now. So every single goal I did score in this game, I was basically down by a goal. Great finish yet again by Aguero. So you can power him, you can finesse him. He's got this delicate play to him, he's got this brute play to him. He's a great striker in this game. And I do rate Sergio Aguero very highly. Even higher than Luis Suarez. I did lose uh, Luis Suarez through the week, I do believe. And I reckon Aguero's a bit better than him. I'm not going to lie. As Bergkamp sets him free in the ninth. Well, it's basically the 90th minute because my opponent does score in the 90th minute. But uh, that gave us hope in the game. It was 3-3 in a very tough game. We got an odd breakaway there. Applying pressure at the end. We did get the goal. Kickoff happened, though. Kickoff happened. He went down the field. He scored the goal. So let's get into the rankings. We're going to start with the strikers. And as you can see, we have the kingpin at number. Number one in Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> I'm not too sure who's going to move him off top spot right now. There is a quite a few candidates, like a prime Ronaldo or even a team of the year Ronaldo. Could he kind of play the striker and knock this striker Ronaldo off top spot? That's what we're going to find out through this year. It's going to be very interesting. But Ronaldo is the undisputed number one for now. Sergio Aguero comes in at number two, like I did say. He's better than Suarez, in my opinion. Better than Ben Yedda. Obviously better than Musa, Lacardia, and Carroll, who I did use through the week. I used Lacardia for a review. I've used Musa eh, kind of sparingly and stuff like that. And the same can be said about Luis Suarez. But Gabriel Jesus, this is interesting uh, for me anyways. I reckon he's better than Suarez. And I do believe Suarez costs a little bit more than Gabriel Jesus. So that kind of puts it in perspective that you can get cheaper players that um, are better than the kind of 92. Look at that. He's an 84 rated card compared to Luis Suarez's 92. And he's just better. He's just better. I know Suarez offers that physicality and the height and stuff like that. But on this game... You don't always need that. You don't always need that. You need this technical side here. Not always four star, four star. You need good dribbling. You need the good technicals and stuff like that. And Gabriel Jesus definitely has that. So our two featured players coming in at number two and number three respectively. 
into the midfielders. Well, we're not even going to start with the midfielders. Let's get into the wingers. We used a few wingers through the weekend yet again. Cristiano Ronaldo is number one. I reckon he's better than Messi on this game. Messi's a great player. Don't get me wrong. I love Messi. I bought him back. I sold him. I bought him back. Had a love-hate relationship with him. But I, I appreciate how good he is on this game. It's just Ronaldo. He fits the meta. He's got his own kind of unique dribble on this game. He's got his own kind of strength. He's got 80 compared to Messi's 61. He's got great finishing ability outside the area, inside the area, and blistering place with great dribble. And I know Messi's dribbling is far, far superior, and his close control on Messi is better than Ronaldo's. But as for a winger, as a left forward and right forward, Ronaldo is just better, in my opinion. So he gets number one. Messi is number two. Herving Lozano reviewed him in midweek. I said he's up there. He's definitely up there. And he's one of the few wingers that I have tried through the week because I've been using central formations. But that's about to change. In foot champions right now, I'm using wingers in the likes of Salah. I'm using Salah right now. And I'm using, who else is the other one? Neymar. Neymar is the other one. So it's going to be... Them added on to this in the future as we get in the midfielders and the midfielders are stacked full of icons. I've been using my icons this week from Rudo Lutz, still number one. Ronaldinho, still number two. Uh, again, it's going to be hard to push them off top spot, but I do believe it is possible on this game. Because if I find someone like an Aaron Moy that outperforms Rude Hullitz, I'll tell you, I'm not going to bullshit you and just say uh, Hullitz number one because it's Hullitz. He's a legend, this, that, the other. He's an icon, whatever you want to say. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to go off performances. I'm going to go off abilities. I'm going to go off absolutely everything. But that's not that's not shot to Rude Hullet, by the way. Rude Hullet on this game is legit. He is immense. He's number one for a reason. Ronaldinho's number two. Patrick Vieira, the prime icon. Nothing gets past him. <laughs> I don't know what it is. His defending, his physicality, his position, his interceptions. Sensational in every single category. And here he holds on that number three spot. I used him for the full 20 game low. And nothing gets past him in that midfield. Uh, if you've got leaks down the left hand side of you. Or the right hand side of you. They're going to get in. One of those leaks is right below them. Rui Costa. I loved him at the start. Not going to lie. But I've played like hundreds and hundreds of games with Rui Costa now. He's not better than Moy. He's not better than an 84. Moy. Moy offers more than Rui Costa. I thought I'd never see the day. Just Rui Costa isn't well rounded and his finishing does suck. Bergkamp comes in at number four. Forgot to mention Dennis Bergkamp. Amazing on this game. Obviously, uh, some people use him at strike. He comes out as a centre forward. I use him at Cam. He's a great Cam on this game. Even though right now I'm actually playing him at striker, but at Cam, that is his perfect position. Hence, why he's in with the midfielders. Pogba's at number five. Moy at six. Kante at seven. Rui Costa at eight. We have Paulino at nine. And Team Lagustage Casemiro comes in at number ten. Of course, we've uh, overflown in terms of the midfielders, so the spreadsheet will be updated and kept up the date from the year and I'll probably include the screenshots and stuff like that in the description below. I'm not too sure whether I'll do that today but I'll definitely do it in the future as we get on the defenders which is more of the same. It's overflown so we have more than the top 10. We've got like top 15 or top 20 now but anyways right card a brand new icon I brought in. He's amazing in terms of defender. I know some of you said include fullbacks in this list as well. We'll do that in the future by the way but right card is number one, Valencia number two, Sergio Ramos comes in at number three, we have Munier at number four, Icon Ferdinand, wasn't that impressed with him, Ramos is better in my opinion, he comes in at number five, Alexandro, Jordi Alba, Marcus Alonso, John Stones, who I love on this game with a shadow chem style, I must reiterate that, shadow chem style on Stones, and we have Virgil van Dijk, Liverpool's new boy, as we get on the goalkeepers, goalkeepers are to here, Buffon, who I've just used, and he's, he's good on this game, to here. He's uh, been a bit slowy for me recently, so I do see someone overtaking him in the future. We've got Edison, we've got Ben Forster, and we've got Joe Hart, who is nothing short of shite on this game. He is so damn bad. So that's going to be a wrap for this episode, lads. Hope you have enjoyed our kind of ranks, our featured players, which I've got to say, Gabriel Jesus, Aguero, amazing players on this game. Fully recommend that you go out and buy him. Go out and try him, and let me know how you do get on in the comments section below. But they're the rankings as you've seen them on your screen, kind of flash between uh, attackers, midfielders, defenders, Defenders, goalkeepers, etc, etc, etc. That's where we're going to end it, lads. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, once again, bring the hype. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.